developing now. Cincinnati Public Schools investigating controversial homework that you're looking at right there. Handed out to some fourth graders. It includes words like liquor and food stamps. And that has some parents just shocked. Roseanne Aragon is on your side tonight digging for answers about what the school is doing about this homework. Roseanne? Craig, it was a questionable math problem on some summer homework that a concerned parent posted on Facebook. Now, when other parents saw it, many were baffled. I'd never present this to, uh, to one of our kids. It was a math problem asking students to figure out the right amount of ingredients for a recipe. The ingredients, fruit juice, club soda, and liquor. The packet was given out to fourth graders. We showed the page to parents. Many were baffled. This was for a fourth grader? Juice, soda, water, with the add liquor. Yeah, that's telling them to make a mixed drink. Total shock. Just shock that anyone would give someone else's kid a problem like that. Another two questions asking about food stamps. Mature material raising questions from parents and the district itself, saying it didn't know about the assignment. CPS calling the three problems insensitive and developmentally inappropriate. The statement also reads, the wording also runs counter to the values of Cincinnati Public Schools, where we celebrate the diversity of our families and respect differences in backgrounds and beliefs. Beliefs. The questions appear to be copied from a book. And while its origins aren't certain, our team found almost the exact same question in this Texas curriculum for adults. Still, some parents are standing by the teacher they know and love. That question was on there. It was not appropriate, but it was a mistake. We have had that teacher for the past two years with my sixth grader. Excellent teacher. Most kids didn't really notice it. They just answered it like a normal question. Other parents saying the teacher should have known better. I would think you would review it. Now, the district tells me there is an ongoing investigation, and if they see fit, disciplinary action will be taken. Reporting live in Avondale, I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.